Today we're talking to Dinej and Donna from Grace Place Ministry to find out more about what they do here. So tell us a little bit about what Grace Place is all about. Well, our mission statement is empowering impoverished single mothers and their children toward developing healthy, safe, and independent lives in the local community. And we do that all under the umbrella of single mothers and children who are experiencing homelessness. Um, we're celebrating our second operating year. We just had our anniversary two weeks ago. We're really excited. Um, we've been able to really grow and expand very quickly. When mothers and children are experiencing homelessness in our community, they can contact our ministry directly and apply to get into our program. Throughout that process, we will then help them find employment, help them find reliable uh, childcare if they do not have their own means for transportation. We have our own transportation service here. We give them everywhere they need to go. They have access to professional counseling if that is needed. We have a custom approach for every mother who comes in, um, depending on the barriers and risks that her family has. Um, we have financial literacy training. We have some computer training they can engage in. Uh, we have weekly Bible studies. And we have children's programs uh, for our kids. We're trauma-informed, so we have that approach in everything that we do. We affirm that they have been through significant trauma before they arrive here with us. So creating a safe environment where they can explore and journey through the healing process is extremely important. We also, in our, in our children, want to instill a culture that values education. So we have an exclusive after-school tutoring program at their school that helps them learn to love learning and also to make sure that their grade point average is at least an AB average, um, while also just giving them the safety and reassurance and help bridging connections to authority figures in their lives that are safe and will help them thrive in the learning environment. Um, everything that we do here is free. Um, the mothers come in and they can be with us for up to nine months. As we work on these things, we want to make sure that they leave with no risk. That's what we're doing. We're reducing every threat that they come in with, with the hopes that they will be able to remain independent once they complete our program. Um, in addition to those things, we have a graduate program where our moms who graduate our shelter program can transition into their own apartment um, and they're still connected to us. We're still, we still have some accountability, a little bit less than the shelter program, but we work with those families for up to a year after the nine months that they spend here with us in the shelter. So the longer we can stay in contact with these families, the longer we have case management on them, the likelihood of them remaining independent just gets higher and higher and higher. And Grace Place is so thrilled to be able to say it. Right now, our first year graduates, one year later, are all independent in their own housing. Um, so our success great. rate is huge. We're going to claim that and brag and <laughs> give God all the glory for that for as long as we can because um, it's a huge deal. It's a, it's a hard problem. It's a hard social issue here in our county and economical issue that we're fighting. And so we're really happy and excited about what God's done. That is wonderful. So how many families have you worked with over the last two years? We have just now hit 30 families all together. Wonderful. So that's, that's fabulous. That's 30 okay. single mamas and... The total of children was 49, and I would have to sit here and do the math now at this point. So, that okay, was in April. that's that's great. That's great. So, what are some of the ways that we at St. Timothy Lutheran Church and our congregation can help Grace Place Ministry? Well, first of all, we really appreciate your prayer support for all aspects of the ministry. Our families have come through a lot, and they have a lot of issues that have to be worked out and they need prayer. We also as a staff need wisdom because we hit something new every day and we just really desire to help them the way that would honor God. We would love for you to pray for the children especially now as they're starting school that uh, God would just put them in the right classrooms with the right teachers that he would help them make new friends. Um, Anything that your own family needs, uh, the families here need. You can also help financially if God leads in that way. It takes money to operate Grace Place. We keep their expenses 
at zero cost, so we provide everything they need while they're here. You can also help by providing those things, the things that you would need in your own household. We need here toilet paper, paper towels, laundry, soap, anything like that. Uh, at this time, also school supplies. Um, another way to help is while we have programming on Mondays and Thursday nights, we need child care. Um, we also need volunteers who are willing to teach classes. So there are many ways to get involved. On our website, you'll see that you can give a meal, especially on the nights we have programming. We love to be able to provide a meal. When the moms get home from work, it's so nice for them to have a meal prepared to feed their kids and get to the Bible study or the financial class, whatever is going on that night. So we have a meal train on there that you can go to. You can find the link on our website, sign up to bring a meal. Um, also, there is a needs list on there that has our most current needs. Um, always, we're in need of those toiletries and household supplies that a family goes through. Okay, great, that's and wonderful. Also, finally, I don't wanna forget, we know that St. Timothy has just done a lot already, and we want you to know how grateful we are. Um, this is a parachurch organization. We're just an extension of the local church. We need the local church. We need everything that the local church can bring, um, especially prayer, but we're so grateful for what you ha as a congregation have already done for the ministry and for the families that we serve. Um, we're so grateful for your partnership. Okay. Thank you so much to both of you, Danesia and Donna. So.